Just got this fiberglass back in and this thing on here. So now I should be able to bolt through there into this thing, which will hold the bearing there. It's not lined up right now. Yeah, right there. Uh, and then I need to attach this up to this, just so this uh, doesn't move up and down. Drilling this hop hole is easy. Drilling this bottom hole, I don't know, it's a little harder because I can't see. I guess I just have to use the force. Wow, look at that. The force is with me today. All right, all bolted in. It's loud right now because my gear teeth are not, you know, perfect. This one I did a pretty good job on. This one I was a little sloppy. I think I'll replace one, this one at some point. But they work fine right now, and uh, they'll probably wear in and get quieter as they, uh, you know, kind of wear together. I think I want to put a spacer in here because there's just a little bit of space in there and this should be forward at like two millimeters. Oh wait, but first let's connect this. Oh, I found a piece of garbage recently. Oh. Picked this up from the street the other day. I think I can do something with it. This is great. I gotta admit, I was a little skeptical of the garbage at first. Excellent. All right, now what do I do about this spacer? It's gotta be something the right thickness around here. Is that gonna be wide enough? If I melt it out? Let's see. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Flat. All right. Ah, I think that might do it. that out a lot. Still a little rough between the gears, but I'm going to run them for a few miles and see how they sound. a bit of a uh, rough noise. Those are really well. I feel very little resistance in there. Oh, I can't wait.
can't wait till I feel some propeller resistance. It's gonna be. Ah, I can't believe it. The pedal system is 100% done, tuned up, adjusted, refined, and ready to go. And for every turn of the pedals, eight turns of the propeller down there. Beauty. And next is whatever business is going on down there. All right, I got a set of these that fit down there. I'm not sure what holds them in yet though. This is my prop shaft tube. The roller bearings are going to go in here. I'm thinking something on the on the actual shaft will hold these in. And I'm going to have to get this thing up to here and glue it in without getting any glue on the part where the bearings go, the rollers go. All right, I'll use this to push this piece up right up to the line. And the brush in here is long enough to reach up that far. And I'm probably going to get a little bit in the wrong spot, but hopefully any residual smears in there will get smeared up and flattened out by this. Pushing up. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot. The shaft is in there already. Oh, that means I need to either take it out, which is a pain in the butt, or figure out how to get around it. Arr, to pull that out, I have to get this off, which means I have to get this off. Arr. Well, this is the craziest weather since we've been here. Man, this year has been so rainy. Seriously? Alright, enough rain! This has been like four months! I think I got it. I can see a little bit of the glue there that's just been smeared right up. Yeah, it squeegeed it so flat, not a problem. There's a blob of glue up, you know, that's been pushed up by the thing that's in here. And I don't want to put my shaft down and run it through the glob of glue and make a big mess. So I'm going to leave that to dry before putting this back in. Don't escape! <sighs> okay. Now, I guess I need to make a propeller. Hmm. Right. Oh, right, I wanted to put some holes in here. So water can get through here and lubricate the bearing. I think I'll drill that hole or two when I flip it back over.
if I can get a bolt through there and a bolt through there. I should be good. Just little bolts. They're not too much in the way. Alright, hopefully that's right through the center. One bolt in. Actually, it looks like it's lined up alright. I just totally made up the shape of this propeller. I don't know if it's a good shape for this or if it needs to be bigger or... I can change the pitch on this because it's just steel. I can bend it. If I need a bigger one though, I can take out the bolts, put bigger fins. I think this will be good for a test. Look, lined up. Yeah. Oh, those are nice and strong. It's hard enough to drill through this stuff. It's some kind of hardened stainless steel. This was much easier to drill through. Now we still want to put some kind of like, not housing, but like a, a streamlined thing on here. That'll kind of match with this and then come down to a point. Cover over the screws and the nuts. Smooth that out. Not sure how that's going to happen yet. I might want a bigger propeller. I'm not sure though, because uh, it has a pretty high pitch. Because I want it to push like a small amount of water really fast, rather than a bigger amount of water slower. Because I'm going to have the motor here. So I want this to be, to be able to at least keep up when I'm pushing with the motor too. And if I'm not pedaling, uh, a higher pitch will make it easier for this propeller to go through the water if I'm just running on the motor. Not that that's ever going to happen. I'll always be pedaling. Although, of course, the uh, pedals can just ghost. They can just spin around from the propeller. I left the bearing in here a little bit loose. Uh, so there's enough space for any gunk to get pushed through. And, and if there is a little bit of dirt in there, it won't be, you know, it won't make it super sticky. It shouldn't vibrate. 